died, so we're not yet. I have to hit, hit go live on that first. So. You're way more smart than <laughs> me do stuff. Well, all right. Oh. Welcome back. Welcome. What if I just repeat, welcome back. Yeah. I, I'll step out of your way, because I believe you're on to something very important. Yep, well, I'm uh, doing a little bit of everything okay. uh, today. You're yeah, great. I would, I would like to let everyone know what a great engineer you are. You do all this. I don't do any of it. I, none. Uh, you, uh, you, you nothing to do with this, Gene? I, I do take the subway. <laughs> yes, Los Angeles has a subway. It, it, it works in very limited parts of the city, but I do take the subway to get here. It works. Oh. It works in mysterious oh, ways. Oh, uh, on the way on the subway here, there's a guy. This was a new one because usually there's people, yeah, well, a little sketchy in there. But the guy was selling socks on this. Oh uh, yeah, I've seen journey. that guy before, right? Yeah, selling Oops. socks. Usually, sometimes people are playing their guitar and then hit you. I mean, they just set up a concert. You're stuck. You're trapped, and then they hit you up for money. I was like, dude, I didn't pay for this concert. I just wanted to ride downtown, okay? Yeah, and uh, by the way, I didn't want to be guilted. <laughs> yes, I know. And so uh, not I giving you money. And by the way, uh, you know, if you gave every, you know, people call me heartless, Gene. Right. Because I don't give uh, homeless people money. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to give homeless people money, you're going to be broke by the end of the day. There's so many homeless people uh, asking yeah, you for money. Yeah, it's so, a bit uh, of an overwhelming problem. Uh, but we hope our government... But Gene, oh, I, yes? I know the, the people of the Midwest... Oh, I'm do not so do not want to hear oh, okay. about the homeless problem in uh, Los oh, Angeles. We're very compassionate. We don't want them. We we want them to be. We don't want poor. them here. <laughs> no, we want them to be I, uh, better. They're not in Beverly Hills. I tell you that. You don't see them in Beverly. Well, yeah, because the, the they, police they, kick them out. That's yeah, why. they do. It's because the uh, taxpayers actually get what because they. Because the Beverly uh, they pay Hills, for. they have a couple really nice parks, but you do not see them there. They're, yep. they're moving on. All right, well, Gene, uh, this is not a uh, complaint about oh, homeless person. Oh, sorry. I'm not uh, complaining. Hour. I'm trying to show compassion. <laughs> compassionate. By the way, giving homeless people money is not compassionate. That's just right. uh, helping them get uh, high for yeah. another day. Okay? Yeah. Uh, so don't give homeless people money. Although right. we d have two – we have a young couple on my street, uh, very young, uh, and, and they brought two homeless dogs into the equation. So, you know, that's my suggestion. Yeah. It, it's okay. A homeless – fine. But don't bring your dog. Don't bring yeah, a dog, dog into this. Dog didn't ask to uh, be with an owner yeah, who's uh, addicted to crack. Yeah, I think they'd rather be in a shelter, which yeah. is really okay. Uh, well, I don't know about that. But, oh, uh, um, well, Gene, uh, this is called uh, the Midwest Sports Show, and uh, this is a uh, podcast slash broadcast. I see. I see. So uh, it's of uh, the Midwest Sports. Right. And uh, right. my name is uh, Chris Stotz. Hello. And then uh, Gene Steichen to my uh, left. We actually need to flip this image around. Oh, okay. Because he's really to my right. Oh, I am to your right. Uh, but but wait, go ahead, it, I, I don't think people really. I think that they. You want to see something? You want to see something nice? What? What are you doing? There oh we go. my God! I, I, I think this is how we. Where should are go. we today? I see. Well, it looks like we're in a basketball uh, Jean, high school basketball. We are gym. once again. You heard of we're uh, on location? We, you heard of uh, where in the world is uh, Carmen yeah, San Diego? Right, right, right. Well, this is where in the world is uh, Chris and Jean. I yeah. I just I just took the subway and now here we're, here I am in an undisclosed location. Yep. Well, Jean, if you uh, look behind you, a little bit. Uh, I'm surprised you uh, you don't recognize the uh, the hardwood floor. Oh, I, well, I saw it. it's a basketball floor. And uh, Gene, let me just uh, say this: maybe this will oh, refresh your memory. I know where we are. Go, go ahead and measure that hoop, Gene. Uh, uh, it's the same measurement as the one we got back home. Oh. Go, go ahead and measure that hoop. Go ahead and measure the backboard, Gene. Right, right. It's the same measurement. It's the same height, same width, same diameter uh -huh. as the one we got back home. Right. And uh, Dubuque. Or oh, uh, lacrosse, Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So uh, I don't know, Gene. Do you need any more? Uh, you need more? Any more hints? We're in Hinkle Fieldhouse, where or, the Butler Bulldogs play. Or do you need a uh, drunk? Uh, what was <laughs> that guy's name? Uh, what was that guy? He's guy dead. Guy selling socks. 
No, nah, no, nah, the the the, the oh. drunk coach from. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dennis Dennis Hopper. Do you yeah, need Dennis that, Hopper? That was, yeah, that was uh, a drunk was, Dennis he, Hopper. Yeah, he was the assistant coach in Hoosiers. Right. So yes, Gene, we are at the uh, Hoosier uh, basketball court. Oh wow. Yeah. The, that is great. We're at the world famous Hoosier basketball court, and uh, why you may ask? Why? Well, because we're such big fans of hoops. Yes. Over here at the Midwest I, Sports Show. And I got I got I got something you don't know about hoops. Right. And I in my excitement last week I forgot about it. Uh the Iowa women's basketball team, they won the Big Ten title. They won the tournament. Was that too much excitement? Yep. And we have uh one of our ladies uh was first team all American and named by ESPN uh the, the best player in college basketball. I, if I had better research, I watched the game when they won the title. I, I can't remember. Her ma- name well, maybe Megan. She had a huge impact on you. Well, obviously. she's great. She scored 45 she, points. Sounds like she's game. a world-renowned hero. Hey, Iowa, Iowa. Iowa women, no joke. And also, so the, uh, they're, they're a number two seed in the tournament. Also, the Iowa State, the Cyclones, their men's team, they won the Big 12 tournament. Yeah. They beat Kansas. They did. Oh, did you already yeah, know? Yeah, that? well, we, yeah, well, I did see that. I, Eugene, I, I, I'm, I'm a little confused because I don't know. Uh, oh. Every time I bring up Iowa State, right? You the see, you, you act like they're your uh, sworn enemy. Well, I, I was happy. So for I know you went to the Buckeyes, no, but uh, I'm a not, not the Buc- Hawkeye. Hawkeyes. Hawkeye, yeah. We sorry. played Cincinnati. We, we, we're a number ten seed in the tournament, but I like our chances. We play Cincinnati, and if I will beat Cincinnati, then we play uh, Tennessee. Okay. All right, then sounds the, great. Then the other one is Wisconsin story. University of Wisconsin Oshkosh, up about an hour from Green Bay, won the men's Division Three basketball title. All right. National champs. No, really? National champs. And you champs. know who they are? They're the Titans. Oh, they're not the Hilltoppers? I'm thinking no, that's Alaska. That's, that's Platteville. Okay. Yeah. Titans. The they Titans. won. The, they pretty awesome. All right. Have you, Oshkosh is beautiful up there. I've never been to Oshkosh. I've driven past it. I've, I've stayed Point. there when if you can't get a room in Green Bay, it's either Appleton or Oshkosh. <laughs> so it's either the uh, I've stayed Motel Oshkosh Six, you, yes, or yeah. the uh, well, Holiday you know, Inn. the Motel Six in Green Bay for game days they charge like uh, two hundred dollars, close to. Yeah, it? yeah, and it's yeah. not. I was like, hey, I'll pay the two hundred, but next year fix your pool. I mean, I don't. Not that I'm going swimming, but there's like squirrels in there. It's just crazy. Anyway, well, is it outside pool? Yeah, okay. the Motel 6 in Green Bay. Okay. Okay, anyway, congratulations to all them teams. All That's right. pretty great. Yeah, very nice. Very, very nice. All right, well, Gene, we're going to talk about uh, the men's uh, yeah. Division I uh, uh, tournament very briefly. And also, uh, we must say, a lot of, lot of flooding in Nebraska. So Right. You, you, uh, you have a yeah, residence d- in Nebraska. Yeah, uh, is your residence okay? David? Well, my brother, John, lives in Omaha, and my brother, our cousin David, who's – uh, with us, he's in Council Bluffs. So, we want him to. Be, there's a helicopter rescue in, in I think in Nebraska, and I'm quite impressed they have a helicopter to rescue people. That's very nice of them. Wow, yeah. there you go. So, good well, luck, uh, the uh, big everyone. city, big big state. Yeah, yeah. Well, good luck. Yeah, hopefully everything is. Uh, I guess okay. I guess. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Not too bad. Yeah. But people's houses are like underwater, right? I mean, yeah, it's been it's been yeah, some of them pretty well. Yeah, I saw I saw a uh, before and after uh, picture. You never want those afters unless you've done something good. Oh, yeah. if you went if you're on drugs and then the after is when you're not on drugs, because that would be a better after. Yeah, picture. that's a better. Okay. That's that's the better one. Oh, and also I, wearing my champion to just remind you, uh, the Cubs are still World Series champs three and, and three years. Two thousand two thousand sixteen. Yeah, yeah. there will always be two thousand sixteen World Series champs. Hey, I like her. <laughs> I'm going to see him next week. All right, road All right. trip. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, Gene, we're going to uh, get a little structured here, get a little really? structure in our life. What and I did uh, was not structure. I named three teams from Iowa and Wisconsin right. in order. Okay. Did but did no. you create a menu? A I, menu d- I for did it. not. I did not do that. I I didn't run it by the producers. I just said it. All right. So. Well, let's. Uh, okay, Gene, of course, one. the uh, the big NCAA uh, March Madness tournament begins uh, this week, and uh, you know, for my money, at least when you're in high school, when you're a high school kid, there's no better time. Yes. Than that Thursday and Friday. I know. Uh, when the basketball games are on, and then uh, they roll the TV out into the cafeteria, into the study or the oh commons. Oh my gosh. And uh, you get to watch it during the day. 
Uh, of course, when you're a cynical adult that no. realizes what kind of scam the oh, NCAA is, you it can't uh, say that I, it oh. loses its luster a little bit. No, a little I, bit. I'm I've never been more excited about a tournament than this week. Although Thursday, I I forgot I got tickets to see Cats again. I, I <laughs> saw it already, and it's a matinee at two o'clock. So that not good. no wonder I so got what, such a good ticket. You're not going to see Warford uh, versus. <laughs> Warford. Uh, I think they're the Terrier Baylor or, or whatever. Yeah, Wolford I don't know what these versus, teams are. Yeah, uh, Wolford and Belmont made it too. All right, Gene, let's just go through these. <laughs> Where the hell is Belmont, by the way? I is think that? they're in New York, aren't they? Maybe. Okay. Let's go know. through. The, so let's, we're going to go through all the uh, games. Okay. And uh, we're just going to throw random stuff out there. Sure. First, the first four. This is the first four. Oh, this they is play where, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday night. Yep. Yeah. 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 And, and the uh, this is, this is I don't know. I don't know if I'm big on this. Um, I yeah. guess it's nice for all these other teams. Okay. But NC Central, no, don't know where. I mean, the, I'm guessing that's North Carolina. Yes. Uh, Central versus North, North De- oh North Dakota State. There you go. Yeah, the Bison. North Dakota. Bison. Yeah. All yeah. right, and then Belmont versus Temple. I'll say Belmont's in New Temple York. is in Philly, Philly. is he? That yeah. is right. All right. Yeah. Uh, f- is it Fort Dickinson? Is that a college? F oh, Dickinson. I don't know. I don't know where that is. F- oh, Farley Dickinson. No, Farley. It's Farley. Yeah. You don't even get the Farley. You don't even get the F. I'll there? say they're in. Uh, w- w- d- d- I don't know. They're in Maryland. Pra- I have no idea. Prairie View? I mean, that's got to be. That's Texas. That's, oh, it's in Texas. I was going to say it's got to be Kansas or no, uh, that's Prairie Nebraska View. or something. Oh, it could be. Te- oh, I meant to say Texas. I, I really don't Belmont know. Belmont might be Texas, too. Yeah. And then Arizona State versus St. John's. Arizona State's in Tempe. St. John's is like a Big Eight team. Like, isn't it kind of embarrassing? No, they're in the Big East. Oh, uh, yeah, Big East. That's what I meant. Isn't it isn't kind of embarrassing that St. John's is in this first four? Yeah, they went very good. You know who their coach is? Chris Mullen. Oh yeah, yeah. I see. I see. All right, so let's go through the uh, the other games. Your first, uh, Gene. We're gonna start on the East. Okay. Uh, I mean, this is gonna be very boring, but that, let's just go through all the because uh, I don't know where any of these teams are yeah, from. Right, so Duke right. versus that uh, North D- uh, Dakota versus NCC, yeah. whatever. They're thirty-five point favorites, by the way, biggest yeah. um, for a long time. Yeah. Uh, VCU versus UCF. We're, I don't know what VCU. Virginia is. Common. Uh, okay. Well, VC, <laughs> I think. For, yeah. uh, Mississippi State versus Liberty. Yeah, Liberty. I'm gonna go Philly. I, I no, they're not. No, that's a Baptist school, I believe. I th- I believe you're right. I think it's Jerry Farwell's Yeah, I think school, that's right? it. Yeah, so Missouri uh, maybe. Virginia Tech versus St. Louis. Yeah, is that, is that hey, East St. Louis? Hey, the That's Pil- University of St. Louis. The Billikins. Okay, that's not East St. Louis. That's St. Louis. Uh, no. Oh, that's a bad part of St. Louis. Yeah. Maryland uh, versus uh, Big Belmont Ten or School. Yeah, yeah, Big Ten School. Uh, LSU versus Yale. Go Yay. go go, Yaggies. Is it or doggies? Yeah, bulldogs. Bulldogs. Right? Bulldogs. Yeah. Yeah, Louisville versus Minnesota. There's a uh, Midwest yep. matchup. Uh, any thoughts on that? Uh, that's Patino's son coaches Minnesota, so I hope they. Oh, lose. really? Yeah. And Patino used to coach Louisville, right? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I wonder. Corruption runs deep in that family. Yeah. How many abortions uh, total oh. between those two guys? <laughs> by the way, that I probably that five. One, yeah. Imagine? I'm not. Five? I don't know if I would feel comfortable right. commenting or Mich- even speculating. Michigan State versus Bradley. Hey, Michigan State's good. They won the Big Ten tournament yeah. and regular season. And Bradley, and then, yeah, they're good. They won the uh, – And Mac, then that one Mac, guy uh, broke his ankle yesterday, right? Yeah, that Michigan was State. I was watching the game. but When, when you actually saw it happen or no? I, I wasn't paying attention because I had the sound off. But yeah, I. I when you turned around, everyone was uh, around I a guy. I saw him on a stretcher, and that's all I <laughs> needed to see. I was like, "Good luck to you, young uh, fella." Yep. Good luck. Yeah. Um, versus Bradley, I have no idea where that is. Gonzaga. Bradley's I just... in Peoria, Illinois. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. There you go. I believe. And uh, Gene, by the way, this is in the East. This is the East bracket. Why? <laughs> and we'll get to this in a second here. But the Midwest bracket has none of these teams. <laughs> I'm barely in any Midwest they, teams, so I don't. I don't know. They how does this work? Whole method to their. Uh, okay, and Gonzaga, that's that's uh, yeah, Washington. Yeah, Spokane. Uh, FDU versus uh, Prairie View, whatever one who wins that. Syracuse right. versus Baylor. Hey, the Syracuse, Baylor where my niece uh, Casey goes. She's in grad school. Just so. don't uh, don't ask Jim Bob Bam. He's now. You know what? This he's officially the oldest coach ever okay. to coach in the tournament. Don't don't ask him for a ride to the game. Oh, okay. Boy. Oh. Wow, <laughs> that's because he just hit. He had a guy I'm, on the side. I of the think street. people know he yeah. was driving home after a game and he ran over a pedestrian. <laughs> but the pedestrian was on the highway, so 
Uh, very unfortunate. Yeah. Okay. This is some, well, yeah. And Bayham why is driving on the shoulder, right, or something? I don't uh, know. I, I don't All know. All right, and then Marquette versus Murray State. Go Mar oh, Marquette. Marquette's pretty good this year. Marquette's awesome. Right? They're great. They could they could make a – yeah, they're good. They could Where's make Murray a good State? Run. I have no idea where Murray State is. Murray State's in Kentucky. Okay. I'm going to say that for sure. All right. Florida State versus Vermont. Yeah, the Catamounts. Yoakum uh, Noah? Yoakum Noah, is he around still? Uh, no? He's still he's actually in the NBA still. No, he doesn't yeah. play for the Gators anymore. Okay. Oh, right. he did play. Oh, wow. I'm a little, little behind, Jim. I'm a little behind he, on this. He stuff. won a title at the yeah. Gators. Yeah, yep. Billy Donovan was their coach. Wow. Yep. Who knew you had a reference like that in you? And then Buffalo versus uh, the Arizona Buffalo. Or you yeah. have the Buffalo Bills in the NFL, and in college, <laughs> it's the Buffalo Bulls. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, they want to get good. sued. They're yeah. really good too. All right, Texas Tech versus North Kentucky. Yeah. The Raiders, right? Wreckham. Re Wreckham Tech. Where my ne niece and nephew. Nevada versus Florida. Yeah. And then Michigan versus Montana. Michigan is very good. Very good. I'm guessing that probably won't be a close match, right? Well, I don't know. You never Let's know. Go, uh, I mean, the, the number 16 seed beat, Mer or beat uh, the number one seed, Virginia, last year. So you never know. All right, so that was the West. Iowa's brackets. That was the West. All okay. right, now we're going to go to the South. Oh, I think I uh, maybe in the South. Virginia versus George Webb. See, uh, Virginia got beat last year as a number one seed. It is George Webb, right? Or am I am I correct? Yeah, I guess is that so. the restaurant? Yeah. You, you, hey, if they score six points in the first uh, half, you get uh, six burgers or something like that, right? All right. Go back to your Jim Beheim joke. <laughs> Oh, George Webb is a uh, burger establishment oh, okay. in uh, Milwaukee, Jim. Oh, there. Oh, and that's the one that gave away the hamburger. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Out. And if the Brewers score six runs, you get a burger for like. And a last buck. year, when the Brewers went on that big winning streak, didn't they give out a, a for the whole state? Something like that. Boy, well, it was a big deal. Maybe I'm people gonna, ate well because I'm going to be in Milwaukee next week. Actually, no, in two weeks, and maybe I'll go uh, look up George Webb. Yep. Maybe I'll just do that. Fine, fine establishment. Fine okay. establishment. All right, Ole Miss versus Oklahoma. Yeah, go soon. Who cares? Uh, Wisconsin versus Oregon. I remember playing this, Wisconsin playing Oregon hey, a couple of years ago. Hey, and it was a tough listen, match. Listen, listen. Oregon won the Pac-12 title, and they're a ten seed, right? What's Wisconsin? Seven. They're five. Five, and what's Oregon's Oregon? twelve? That's that's not right. I mean, Oregon's playing better than Wisconsin. Oh, so you I think uh, Wisconsin got screwed, Gene? Again? Uh, no, Wisconsin's oh, way over seeding. Oregon won the Pac-12 tournament. Yeah. What? Did Wisconsin even come close to the Big Ten? Do they make it to no, the semifinals? They made it. I, they yeah, they might have made the, the first round. No. Okay. Hey, listen, that's a that's a tough matchup. Look out, look out, Badgers. Look out, Badgers. Yep. Uh, and then uh, Kansas State versus UC Irvine. The Anteaters, awesome. All right, Villanova versus St. Mary's. That's uh, that's a, that's, that's up Northern Philly. California. Oh, St. Mary's. Yeah, okay. the Gales. They're oh, yeah. in uh, up up Northern California. It's right. a religious school. Purdue versus Old Dominion. I don't know where Old Old, Old Dominion's on Pennsylvania East Coast is it? somewhere. Mm. I'll say Pennsylvania. Purdue. Go yeah. Boilermakers. Yeah, Purdue Big number three. Only. They're good. Purdue's good. Yeah. All right, and then the Cincinnati Wildcats. That's uh, correct, or no, is it the Panthers? No, the Bearcats. Oh, the Bearcats. Uh, Bearcats. This is Iowa. That the Bearcats are very good, and Iowa. Uh, all honesty, we've really struggled lately, very much so. So, can you preview the game for us, Gene? What What are the uh, intangibles we don't know? I hope Iowa plays better than they have. How's that for an intangible? Okay, go. okay. Iowa, please play better than you have. The last they lost their last five, and then they won one game in the tournament. Then they got blown out by Michigan. So, Bearcats are they're playing better than Iowa. So. That w Iowa's key to victory is to play better. Pass. Pass. Yeah, pass the ball. Pass and five then when time. you get the ball and the clock's winding down, make the shot. There you yep. go. Yeah. Easy. Oh, uh, they played Friday at 9, uh, Friday morning. Yep. Easy. Easy game. Easy game. Uh, uh, very tough game. Friday at, uh, yeah, Friday at 9.15. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. All right. Uh, then Tennessee versus Colgate. That uh, Colgate's in uh, I'm more of a Crest guy myself. <laughs> That one caught me off guard. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, the Iowa, when they beat Cincinnati, they'll have to play Tennessee. That's not easy. So Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Bruce Pearl, by the way, is yeah, uh, he's at Auburn. Auburn. Okay, we're going to get – Okay, now at another school. Yeah. This guy, now, yeah. now we're at the Midwest bracket, Gene. Oh, okay. This is the Midwest bracket. Uh, let me know how many Midwest teams uh, right. are you here. here. North Carolina versus Iona. Iona is – It's in Jersey, yeah, right? That's New York. 
It's I, yeah, it's New York. Uh, I, or is it I Jersey? It could be Jersey. It's one of those so many goddamn colleges like New Jersey, Pennsylvania, I, it's Philly. Yeah. All yeah, right, yeah. Utah yeah. State versus Washington. The Aggies uh, versus Washington. Yeah, t- there's two Midwest. Midwest. That ought to that ought to pack them in. And that that's the Huskies, right? It's not Washington. Yeah, Washington, DC. Washington Huskies. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do they, I mean, do these do the NCAA have a uh, partnership with uh, Delta Airlines? <laughs> that's or something. Thing. Yeah. We need some traveling. Amazing. Going. These tickets went up a thousand percent since right, uh, last right. week. All right. And then Auburn versus New Mexico State. Uh, again, Bruce I hope Pearl. Auburn. Auburn, wherever Bruce, he lives a path, a, leaves a path of destruction behind him. So we'll see what Auburn, what kind of probation they're hey, on in he a keeps, couple years. Hey, if you can get Auburn mm. to the uh, tournament, yeah. I don't think I don't think a lot of colleges care about that destruction. They won the SEC title. So there you go. Yep. And then uh, New Mexico. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Kansas versus Northeastern. Yeah, Northeastern. I'll say Massachusetts. Northeastern is where uh, Northwestern people go when they don't get accepted, right? <laughs> they go east. Wow. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I right, Kansas. All right. Come on, they're they're struggling too. All right, so we have what Kansas? We're I don't know what six games in this thing. Now we finally have a Midwest team, Kansas. Yeah. I don't think Kansas is that Midwest. To be honest mm-hmm. with you. All right, and then Iowa State. Right, here we go. Awesome. Here's a nice Midwest game. Uh, Iowa State versus Ohio State. Oh, that's a tough game. That's so, a good. That's a good matchup right off the bat. I guess the that's need- a good matchup. Yep. Iowa State's good though. Good for them, but uh, Ohio State, yeah, they're kind of shaky. That's a night. That's gonna be at. Uh, that's a night game. Yeah, that's a know. good one. That's a really that. Okay, let's go Cyclones. Are, are the no. Cyclones gonna be able to uh, yeah. face the uh, limelight? You know what? Even though I'm a Big Ten, Big Ten, normally I'd support the Big Ten. No, I'm supporting Iowa State. I yep. that's uh, go Cyclones. I'm all for it. But they, that's a wow. Look forward to that one. Everyone who coaches at Ohio State should be in jail. Hopefully, uh, I'll catch up uh, during intermission at Cats. Yeah. Yeah. Well, do they allow phones? (laughs) I have to to hide it under my uh, fur pouch. Yeah. (laughs) Hide it under your tail, Gene. Uh, Yeah, my tail. I look forward to seeing Cats again. Try to smuggle it in with your catnip. Yeah. All right, and then Houston versus Georgia State. Oh, great. Saying, and then War- Warford versus Wolford. Seen Hall. Where's Warford? I'm yeah. going to say South Carolina. I maybe. believe you're right. And then Seen Hall, I, that's in Pennsylvania, right? No, there's that's by Philly. Seen Hall's in uh, New Jersey. Okay. Yeah. And then Kentucky versus uh, Abilene Christian, or what that's is that? That's a Texas school. Abilene. It's got to be, yeah. Yeah, something like uh, Abilene CHR. I, I, I'm guessing that's not chair. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't Some know. intriguing matchup there, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's intriguing where these ex- schools actually exist. I, I'm you know intrigued got, by that. You know, I think's got the toughest matchup for a higher seed is Wisconsin. Yeah, they got yeah. A tough. That's hard. Oregon's playing really well. Uh, Gene, so Duke is the perennial favorite. Yeah, they're a huge favorite. And then, do you, I mean, have you filled out a? Br- yeah, I don't do this I've bracket. I've done two crap, brackets. So. I did. I've done two brackets. One with the family. One with uh, someone else. And, and you have um, Iowa winning both, both of them. Both of them. Yep. Yes, I do. Yep. I think Iowa beating. Oh, who do we, we beat Michigan in one, and then I mixed it up and said we'll beat Kansas in the other. I All think right. something like that. So d- different paths, but same result. Uh, yeah, if Iowa wins the tournament, I I could win the ESPN whole thing. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you'd be more happy than Iowa actually winning, right? Oh, Iowa! It would be so great. We finished second, I think, nineteen fifty-six, but I we've never won. <laughs> That's before they let black people uh, right. play. We haven't even so. been to the Final Four since 1980. So, and then Gene, I don't know if you knew this, but Probably. the uh, the national championship's going to be in Minneapolis. Is that? Oh, gonna, I guess I didn't know. Is that. it going to be at the? Uh, It'll be at the football stadium, stadium. The Bank of America Stadium, right? Yeah, it won't be at the basketball. It'll Have be at you the ever? Yeah, it's not going to be the Golfer. No, it the won't stadium? be at the. Well, the Timberwolves. It'll be How at the, the Target. Vikings. The Target Center. How about yeah, that? I don't. Th- I don't even know if it's a target. Yeah. Have, have you ever seen like a basketball game at one of these huge football stadiums? I mean, it can't be oh, enjoyable, oh my gosh. right? It's you go for the event. I no, I haven't. I'm gonna say no. You I can't haven't. see shit. No. And then you know, then they have I these uh, the courts right. up on like a pedestal. Yeah. Like yeah. high up, so everyone can see it. I mean, would you want to play basketball? I mean, forget about playing on a battleship. It's tough. Do you want to play on like a pedestal where if you yeah. like uh, have to run and go uh, get a, a rebound, you're going to be in uh, section eight? <laughs> Isn't that when they kick you out of the yeah, military? Yeah, I guess. Section seven. 
big right. section A. No, I, you're right. That, and Someone's that's another reason a lot of times the shooting percentages aren't as great in those uh, Final Four games. Cause, uh, a lot the, of wind, the, too, the, right? The, yeah, what? and they play in those huge stadiums. It's hard to get a read on the – I don't know. That's what I've heard. I I can't prove it myself. <laughs> Well, Gene, uh, to get a, take a jump shot, get a basketball. Let's do some jump yeah. shots. Let's see what your I hope. Like. I really do hope if Iowa can't win, I hope it's a Big Ten school. Yep. There yeah. You go. Or Kansas. All right. Well, there we go. That's the uh, that's the March right. Madness. I know we. Uh, I'm excited about we, it. We I'm got not, a look, we got a little stat heavy here. Like you, I I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's just Gene. It's the same thing every year. That's and, um, what makes it great. I have been in Vegas during March Madness, and that's crazy. No. Nope. There you go. Okay. And then uh, while we're talking about uh, college, mm. oh, what happened here? Oh, the cheating? Who cheated? Well, Gene, oh, a big why uh, you got a college, picture of Lori Laughlin? Big college scandal wow. uh, this year, of course. Uh, we heard about a lot of uh, famous celebrities and uh, rich people, yeah. uh, but not rich enough to donate buildings to certain colleges, but they're using uh, entrance uh, That's cheating. That's so disappointing. Using these organizations that help uh, students prep for quote unquote college, but yeah. uh, really they just falsify uh, documents yeah. uh, and extracurricular activities so uh, these rich uh, kids can go to school. Mm. And a uh, big story, uh, you know, hit uh, last week, uh, including uh, actresses uh, Lori Laughlin. Yes, who got fired from all. I didn't know she was on Hallmark. She was on a bunch of stuff on there. F- and then, uh, first of all, who, wha- how does this have any effect to your <laughs> acting ability? Do you think. I don't do you know. Think, uh, I know. Do you I know. And her daughter was a spokesperson. She's a model, and she got fired from her spokesperson job. She's one of the USC kids. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but they dumped her hard. They they dumped her. Felicity Huffman too's got a series on Netflix coming out, so they haven't. We'll see. How about we do? How about we? How about we flip that to a Let's documentary? To oh. a documentary on Netflix. Right. Did you even think? I never. It's weird. You think you know stuff, but I didn't even know this kind of stuff was going on. Maybe because I went to University of Iowa. You went to Iowa, think. Gene. No one, no one's I, cheating to get into Iowa, Gene. I don't think they've turned away too many people at Iowa. I didn't know. I mean, USC is a hard school to get into, but not that hard. It's not. It's not Yale or Harvard. I don't think. Well, all I can say, Gene, is uh, e two and Becky. Yeah. You too, Aunt Becky. I thought you were. Uh, I thought you stood for something. Yeah. I oh, thought all those morals. Oh, this is coming straight. All those it. morals okay. you taught us at the end of Full House right. about how it's good to be sharing and caring and uh, yeah. selfless. It's just a ruse, wasn't it, Aunt Becky? Oh goodness, that's got a. How how are you gonna look, Michelle? Ooh. In the eye, and Becky, not Becky. Uh, what's the other one? Shannon. No, who who's know. the? Uh, I didn't really. I don't. You watch know. Full House? I I kind of. A little of. before your time. No, I kind of watched it. Yeah, I, it wasn't my. Wasn't that part of the Friday thing? Yeah, uh, TGIF. Thank TGIF. Well, Gene, this was right in my wheelhouse because I was, uh, oh, okay. you know, probably ten years but old. But Becky was hot, wasn't she? Oh, she was. She still is hot. Yeah, I yeah, I, no. I wanted to give her twins. John, I don't know why John Stamos well, always got I mean, the plug there. Beautiful person. We shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I like John Stamos. How about Danny? Yeah. Why didn't Danny get a chance to? Uh, well, they're still doing. Ne- they're 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 getting set to film the new season of Full House on Netflix. Yeah. But uh, she's out. Well, the first episode out. is about uh, getting into their college exams, so right. uh, that might be a. I didn't know. Wow, your your words are they cut deep against Aunt Becky. Yeah. Mm. It's just uh, Gene. It's just uh, don't 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 have any heroes, Gene. Don't meet I, your heroes. Well, one of the things of sad kind of Felicity Huffman. She's married to William H Macy, and it was it was. Kind of sad to see him going to court to post what? bail. Okay, uh, these he, these are all actors, Gene. Right? Why yeah. do these actors' kids well, even he's care? Not ca- he's not indicted, but she is. But he's. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure this happened all without his knowledge, right? Well, I'm sure he had yeah, no idea. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, these are. You're you're the the child of an actor. You don't have to go to school. I, you don't exactly. have to learn anything. You just have to freaking well, show up. I don't know if that's a good message, really. Is it? <laughs> I mean, go to school, but. You know, go All for right. the experience. Yeah, you're right. Uh, there you go. Yeah, maybe don't go to school. All right. Well, Gene, it's, uh, again, another busy week. Yeah. Uh, for football. Mm. And probably the uh, the biggest uh, news is uh, Odell Beckham. I, I love Cleveland now. I'm the, really uh, The very them. talented, uh, uh, what do you call it, wide receiver, malcontent wide receiver, Diva. you may even say. 
kind of. Yeah. Uh, from the Giants, um, instead of uh, you know keeping him one year around more uh, for Eli to on the thrill, uh, they're shaving him out to uh, Cleveland. I think I don't know if Odell Brown's thrilled about moving from New York to Cleveland, just the city itself. But man, what a great opportunity! I think I'd be excited to go to Cleveland. Hey, wouldn't you rather get the, the ball thrown to you from yeah, uh, Baker but, Mayfield I mean, than uh, he Eli Manning? I love living in New York. He's kind of king in New York, but no, Cleveland. Wow, this is great for them. It's so exciting. I love the Browns and their fans. Yeah, they they really get, get they're gonna be woofing. Wolfing away in the dog pound. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here are the trade well, terms. Ray, Giants. Is that what they say? Raise Giants, the wolf. Giant. Ray raise the DP. Double pound. Double pet. I don't know. Raise the wolf. Um, That's my. Giants receive a first round pick in 2019, number 17 overall. That's the, amazing. The Browns' second third round pick this year. Right. And safety Jabral Peppers, which was pretty much just thrown at on the last yeah, minute because who cares about safety? Really panned out too well. Boy, the Browns get Odell. Much. Isn't it? So, well, you get probably the top one of the top three receivers in the league yeah. for a couple of draft picks. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, the Browns made uh, pretty good. Yeah, the Browns are looking pretty dangerous. It's exciting. I just don't know about their coach because he's got no experience. So we'll see. Freddie Kitchens, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I if I was a fan, which I'm a fan from afar, I'd be very excited. If I was in Cleveland, I'd definitely go to a game. So I think it's good for the NFL for the Browns uh, yeah. to be good because it's I think everyone's kind of everyone's rooting for the Browns. And I that's such like. a they're they're similar to Buffalo. They're great fan base and gosh, get those guys excited. We don't need Carolina or Tampa Bay. We need <laughs> yeah. Buffalo, Cleveland. Hey, the uh, Hall of Fame is in Canton, yeah. Ohio. Hey, there you go. It, it, ain't, it ain't in Jacksonville. That's right. It, yeah. ain't, it ain't in Tampa. It ain't in Tampa. Not not in this lifetime. It's Canton can near uh, yeah. Cleveland. Oh. I think everything's near everywhere in Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then, uh, well, Gene, it's not all gravy for the oh, Browns. Oh, boy. Uh, because uh, the NFL is suspending the Browns running back Kareem Hunt, who was jettisoned from the yeah. Chiefs. Wow, he's lucky. And uh, picked up from the Browns, and uh, he's been suspended for eight games. Hey, that's they, – they, I – I'd take it. He didn't fight it. That was probably part of the deal. You For violating its personal fight. conduct policy, at least yeah. it, the sources tell you. Hey, ESPN. eight games, that means he gets to play eight games as opposed to being out of the league. So, yeah, you, yeah. Should, you know, you should really be able to choose your games, right, for the stuff. I mean, oh, does, does, wow. does it have to be consecutive? What about that? That's pretty I, – I like the way you're thinking. Wow, where did that come from? Uh, Just, just an idea off the it's top of my head. It's a good one. I like it. Yep, and uh, what Ray Rice event, uh, originally got, he got four games, four right, games. for not going to check out in yeah. the elevator, his wife in his the wife. elevator. Yeah. And uh, Kareem Hunt kind of half heartedly kicked the girl <laughs> wait a second. in hotel. Wait, don't. He's don't, getting eight games. Don't wait, don't. You can't Man, say half heartedly. Well, I, Jeannie, I don't think he really tried that hard. I mean, he could have. If, oh. yeah, if he wanted to kick that chick, they I think he probably could have. Oh, okay. I, I think he could have. have to step back here. He wasn't no, going for a field goal. They were know. holding him back, and he fought him off to get back at this it, woman. It was more like an onside kick than a field no. goal. Oh, okay. All right. All right. No. And then, Gene, one more Browns story. Talk about, about the Browns. You remember we used to talk about the Browns all the time, and they sucked? Yeah. Now they're actually good. Yeah, for the past you know, uh, 20 years, really. Well, Gene, how about this? Uh, Baker Mayfield. Love him. Was uh, in Arizona this past week at oh. the Brewers Spring Training Camp. Wow, I didn't know that. And because uh, he's pretty good friends with uh, Christian Yelich. Oh, that's right. Yes, and, yes. And uh, yeah. took a little BP. Uh, wow. Did all that stuff. Did not actually get into the game. Okay. Uh, because the Browns. He's no. He's no Garth Brooks. Yeah, not. It's not exactly Chris Gaines. Uh, no, with the that's glove. when. Yeah, Garth Brooks. Wow, you're referent. You're pretty sharp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gene, it's all about the obscure details. And when Garth Brooks became Chris Gaines, wow. I don't think Not anyone good. was happy. Uh, but, yeah, so he was at spring training. Uh, basically, he coached – I th believe he coached third base. Wow. Or no, but it was first base, and he had a okay. stab watch. So, uh, uh, there you go. Pretty cool. That's neat. Pretty cool. All right. And then, Gene, we're going to be moving it right along. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? Uh, blah, blah, blah. All right. Okay. So, we uh, all right, we're going to be moving right along. Um, actually, you know what? We'll go back to the Browns. Oh, okay. Uh, because uh, Johnny Menzel, oh, former first-round pick of the right, Browns, right. Uh, again, jettisoned uh, from the CFL, 
And uh, people were saying uh, he's not going to sign up with this new uh, AF- a- 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 AFL a- a- or whatever a- it is because yeah. they only uh, give people $250,000. Well, the $50, first team that could have drafted him was a Texas team, and they passed. So. Yep. Well, yeah. he, he, he signed with uh, it's Orlando, right? Am I, am I wrong I don't about think this? It's or maybe some Florida team, isn't it? Oh, is there a team in Florida? I could There's be wrong. There's only like four teams or yeah. six. I don't know. Well, Yeah, it could be Orlando. I don't even know. He got picked up. Well, there you he go. He got picked up. So he will be playing for $250,000. Um, uh, I, I mean, don't is think he? They may, I think it's 250000 for three years. Oh, I'm okay. not sure. Is he now, is he really trying to get into the league? Because why would you even put your body through this for that? I mean, his signing bonus. Yes, he's got to do anything. Is he blown through all that oh, signing bonus I, money? I, right. He's blown through it. Oh, yeah. I drank the, through just it? Just the parties in Hollywood he used to. When he was at his worst, he was hanging out in Hollywood just crazy. Yeah. Oh, no, he's up to no good. Oh, I, I don't think he's got a lot of money. That's what I was saying. All right. Well, his his parents are rich, though, right? His family's rich? Yeah. His grandfather's like oil tycoon mm-hmm. or something like that. So. All right. And then, uh, Jim, we're talking about the Vikings really quick. Yep. Uh, Anthony Barr. Oh. Uh, wow. A linebacker, I believe, right? Yeah. For the uh, yeah. Vikings. After telling the Jets he intended to sign with them. Yeah. He got cold feet. Wow. Changed his mind and informed the Vikings that he will be returning to uh, Minnesota. How about that? Uh, he thinks the uh, he thought about the idea of playing in New York with the Jets last night, and he got sick the night before. He got sick, physically sick, mm. last night. He said, uh, uh, Schefter said on NFL Live, he did not feel right about the decision at all. That's when they went back to the Vikings, and the Vikings stepped up, improved their offer, and got the deal done for Anthony Barr. Hey, I don't like the Vikings much, but good for them. Well, Gene, uh, let's just say I know the reason. Oh, why Anthony DeBar oh, uh, declined to sign with the Jets. Reason. Okay. Uh, he toured the facilities and saw Brett Favre's old locker room. Oh, and no. Old locker. Yeah. And let's just say he, he found a uh, cell phone with some uh, okay. inappropriate pictures. <laughs> I'm surprised the battery hadn't yeah. given out by now. Well, it's, it, you know, Gene, they used to make things that actually last. Oh, I see. Back in I 19, uh, or I'm sorry, yeah. 2000, uh, Five, 2010. Four, 10. Yeah. Yeah, can you believe Brett Favre has impl- Brett Favre has been played for like five years, Gene? Wow. That seems like uh, yeah, seems kind of amazing. Huh? Yeah. All right, so there you go. Vi- Vi- you, Vikings, you this is what you want? S- some two faced liar? Oh wow! Who's I gonna say yes? Who's gonna do a handshake, but then turn 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 around and say you're, no? You're sparing no one's feelings. Oh, well, Gene, I you know I no favoritism here on the Midwest Sports Show. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then speaking with the Vikings, uh, old Viking quarterback Teddy Bridgewater, it looked like he was going to the Dolphins mm, uh, for tough. a moment. But, uh, again, he said no. Yeah. And he's uh, going back with the Saints. I'd rather back up the Saints and try to win a Super Bowl than go to the Dolphins and yeah. have your career and have fall nothing. apart. Have nothing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and then, Gene, uh, the Bears. Very are, excited about are the in Bears. The, in the news as well. Oh. Uh, sloppy seconds. <laughs> Sloppy seconds. The what Bears. Kind of, what kind of headlines that? The Bears are taking Ha Ha Clinton Dix. Oh, that's right. What the hell happened to Ha Ha Clinton? I thought he was the up and coming superstar. Well, he was a first round draft pick, right? Yeah, and he but, had a great first two, three years. Well, yeah, he's good, but uh, again, wow. safety. The reason why Jabal Peppers got traded to the Giants. No one safeties are not an important position. Wow, but that's a fall. But yeah, we'll yeah. see. Yeah. Yep. The, the Bears got a great safety anyway, but yep. maybe yeah, we'll see well, if he gets play. Well, it's too bad, haha. I mean, you're not you're not playing against uh, Jay Cutler anymore, unfortunately. So oh uh, yeah, yeah, good so one. Might be a little difficult. Okay. I wonder if he, so uh, yeah, I wonder if he's gonna be able to pick off uh, Aaron Rodgers uh, this year. I don't think so. I think that'll probably be his career highlight. I would we'll imagine, find out right? September fifth. Yep. In at Soldier Field, Packers Bears kick off the season. I think. From what everyone said, if they do, I'm going to try to go. But I think tickets are going to be really expensive. I would agree with that, probably. Yeah. <coughs> All right, Gene. And then uh, the Packers. Oh, how are they doing? They signed a bunch of guys. Uh, they did oh. sign a bunch of guys. Uh, they also former Packers. Talk about sloppy yeah, seconds. Yeah, yeah. Former Packers Jordy Nelson. Oh, Jordy should come home. Was released by the Raiders. Yeah. And now we're hearing that uh, 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 Cobb. What's the name? Uh, yeah. Cobb, L- uh, yeah. Trying to, I can't figure out his oh, last name. But Randall Cobb, right? Yeah. It's Randall Cobb. Randall Cobb, who is a free agent this year, right? Uh, visiting the Cowboys. Oh. What and uh, Jordy Nelson may be visiting the Seahawks. Why? Why don't the Packers just bring him back? Because uh, they're old. 
Well, Cause what, oh, okay. Because they feel like they can get better value at the y- young player. All right. Well, then there you go. So Cobb may be going to the Cowboys. By the way, uh, can you imagine uh, Randall Cobb in a Cowboys uniform? I, it does not look right. I don't think that would look good. Oh, okay. And then Jordy Nelson in a uh, uh, Seahawks oh, uni. Oh, my gosh. Not good. I mean, this, but you, if he's you, good you, you ain't Steve C- Largent. Jordy, I oh come back to I I wish the Packers would go after him. I bet he'd be great again. I, he's still somewhat young, with thirty three. He still runs routes. Yeah, he still running. And then what happened? Okay, and then they signed some other guys. Then uh, they signed some people. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to. What agree. about Clay Matthew Jr.? Uh, I think they're trying to restructure his contract right now. I think. Oh, he's still under contract because they did just sign a uh, linebacker. Oh, uh, I thought I remember. thought he okay. He's still under contract. Well, they could come loose and get Vontaze Perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, thank you. Uh, I was I was going to no. talk about Vontaze Perfect, but I figured why waste. Uh, breath? I know. I, I hope guy. nobody signs him. That All right, and then Jenny, here's an interesting story. Ron uh, from Gil Brandt, who we should be the GM for the Cowboys, yeah, yeah. I guess, back in the '70s or yeah. '80s or something. Yeah. Uh, Ron Wolf once said his greatest regret during his tenure in Green Bay was not listening to a young scout. Pound the table for Terrell De- Davis during the 1995 draft. That scout was a 35-year-old John Dorsey, oh. J- uh, who is now the GM for the uh, Cleveland Browns. Yeah. John Zord has an eye for talent. What he pulled off today was his magnum opus, opus magnum, and that was the uh, Odell uh, trade. Uh, well, Gina, I, I, for one, I'm getting sick of these t- stories. Oh. Of these GMs saying, like, oh, if only I would have uh, drafted right, blah, blah, right, blah. I wanted yeah. to blah, blah, blah. It's like, hey, I wanted to draft uh, LT, yeah. Lawrence Taylor. Right. It's like, okay, all right, we get it. You, you you made a mistake. You're a shitty GM. Yeah, yeah. Hey, even the Patriots GM passed on Tom Brady four times, right? Yeah, yeah. So can we please, enough with these stories about how you wanted to draft something, someone, but someone told you no? I mean, hindsight is, uh, hindsight is 2020. It's 2020, if that. With age, like, it might not be that good. What are you supposed to do? Go into an interview? What are you going to do? And be like, uh, what's your plan? Well, I, I don't have a plan right now. I don't. I have no but plan. I wanted to draft uh, Terrell Davis uh, back in 1995. Yeah. So, uh, I, he I'm was really on good. our board. By the way, but... w- why didn't you draft him, by the way? Yeah. If you're such a good GM. What's going on? Yeah. I like teaming up with you. <laughs> it's easy, right? It's e- Yeah. All right. <laughs> bless you. All right. God bless you. <laughs> I had to hit the sneeze all right, That's button. the most you contributed all week, Gene. All right. <laughs> I like all right. you're all over the place. <laughs> all right. And Gene, we're going to go to baseball. Oh, uh, very exciting. And uh, we literally have like one week, maybe 10 days until uh, baseball yeah, starts. Yeah, then the last spring training game is next Tuesday. Well, at least for the Cubs. And I'm going to hopefully be there. And Gene, there was uh, some big news mm-hmm. this week where uh, Major League Baseball announced some rules to. Uh, I'm all for it. Increase the doing? speed of play. Yeah, let's get going. And A, hey, let's go. And no, I don't like four outfielders in the outfield. I think that should be changed too. Maybe you know people don't agree. Everyone should play their position. Don't you for that? Uh, well, I think you can. You, you should be able to put nine players. Why you can't do that or in football? Can you plays. put nine guys on one side of <laughs> yeah. center? Uh, you can, can't you? Right? No, you can't. No. Your left tackle. All right. Okay. Play. Okay, you need three, two guys on each side of center. So that, yeah, that's so the one rule. Th- well, no, there's a lot of rules. Uh, uh, pro basketball, you can't play zone defense. <laughs> well, uh, what? Or isolate, right? It's isolate. Well, you can't have five guys in the paint. You can't even have one guy in the paint for three seconds. All right. What, what's wrong with it? Let's play. All but, right, well, Gene, let's, those are arbitrary okay. rules. But what about putting six the, guys uh, in the outfield? Now, now, uh, now teams are going to start playing, putting four guys hit, in the outfield. Hit, that's hit, a, a, hit a cutter. All right, well, Gene, the, uh, a lot of the things are like kind of small, as in like uh, commercial breaks are five right, seconds yeah. less and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, do that and put, uh, put a little commercial on the side of the but screen. But one of the biggest changes, which is not going to go into 2020, mm-hmm. at least because they know they're going to have to uh, adjust to things, is that a, a relief pitcher yeah, awesome. either has to pitch uh, to the end of the inning, the half of the inning, oh, or okay. he must face three batters. Yeah. So none of this uh, Tony La Russa overwrought managing. Uh, I'm going to bring in uh, three different guys to face uh, three oh different players. Gosh, thank goodness. Um, where they uh, you know go to the commercial, do the warm up, and then bring it back and bring out another guy, and uh, all of a sudden it takes uh, the, one the hour. The manager's eyes strolling right. Hey, take your time, dude. We got nowhere to be. It's only been five hours. Yeah. Right. 
You let him have so it. So I, you know, Gene, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of on the opinion that you shouldn't be able to like, because I think that's kind of a fundamental change to the game. It is, and you really should be able to pull your pitcher whenever you want. But well, if you can do that, why, why, why can you play four outfield? Why are you so against that? Uh, because, because <laughs> you should be able to do what you want as long as you have nine guys on the you field. You can't right? do that in other sports. <laughs> well, Soccer, it's, it's you baseball. can't. Oh, Love you know, all the sports, you, you don't hit it with a bat. Oh, no, soccer, you have to have certain guys on this. Yeah, oh, you, you, no, it's you, offsides. That's, that's well, different. yeah. Okay. All right. And then, but Gene, uh, I, I'm actually, I think I, I'm for this rule because I think uh, on one. I'm for it, too. It's going to make uh, this stuff even more st- uh, strategic, uh, you know, who you bring in and all this stuff. And, and you can still bring in a guy for one guy. It just exactly. has to be the end of the inning. I've never uh, almost agreed with you more. And then number two, um, I think it's actually going to increase scoring because if you can't, like, uh, bring a left, yeah. right, left up. Um, you get that's more what we runs. Need. We don't want guys just yeah, getting so mowed down. Good. One guy, oh, he's on. Okay, yeah, that's exactly. I'm all for it. Let's do that. Okay. So I'm good I'm for in. that. But uh, Gene, you know who's not a fan? I uh, don't say Joe. Man, not not a fan of this is uh, probably the biggest. Mm. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, crime. What do you call it? Uh, crime the most though. guilty. Uh, who? The most guilt. The person who does this the most. I don't. No, who are you talking One about? Joe Maddon. Oh, no. Don't bring Not, not a fan of this. What, what a really? shot. What a shot. Joe? Why? Well, he wants to put in a rule that, uh, you know, three batters or uh, if your reliever can uh, knock the other guy's uh, oh, wi- wife out, right? then, uh, yeah, you should be able to face one better. Wow. Yeah. All right. Going heavy on the domestic abuse. Oh, Joe, uh, he, he's been kind of quiet this spring, but he did bring the t- dunk tank back last week. Okay, there, that, that was missing the past yeah. two years. You no, know, he, didn't have, he didn't have he didn't have the 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 zoo. Not he hasn't done the zoo stuff yet. No, nope, not until he gets an extension. He's it's kinda, I, you know, I bet we're gonna hear a lot of these uh, same stories we're hearing hearing from the Seahawks, mm-hmm. where uh, the veterans are kind of getting sick of uh, Joe Mann's shit. Because they hear the same thing over and over again. Once you hear all the same stories, you start rolling your eyes. I think uh, I'm trying to I, roll I think we're gonna start getting uh, some uh, little Maybe rumors. Maybe that's why uh, Theo has not. It sounds like no matter why. Unless maybe he wins the World Series, he's a one and doneer this year. Madden, you think, or Theo? Well, yeah, they no, no Madden, because they haven't. They his they, he's in the final year of his contract. They made no. Uh, what do you call it? When they make no, they haven't hidden that he's on the final year of his contract. Yeah, right. and he's not being extended. He's, he's on the burner. Yeah. So, well, Gene, with a team like that, you should be in the playoffs every year, right? Yeah. Which they have last year. Yeah, it was so sketchy the way they felt. I cannot there. wait the Brewers to beat the Cubs <laughs> so soundly. <laughs> oh, you that watch the it. manager gets fired. That that's my favorite oh, thing in sports. Gosh. The pack. I remember the Packers one year. Like yeah. faced three teams in a row, and each game, mm. the the each game next, the the coach was like fired right. or something like that. Uh, that was that's my well, greatest uh, that, pleasure as a fan. The Cubbies opened nine straight on the road, including Milwaukee. Ooh. So oh, Milwaukee starting Milwaukee was a dome. Yeah, it's starting in sense. St. Louis. So, I mean, what uh, is there? What? Is there is there a Chris Hayes concert oh or a God. Chris Gaines concert at Miller Park? We can't have a uh, can't have the games in early April. Oh, I didn't know they were going to St. Louis. Oh, yeah, okay. they're opening in St. Louis. Yeah. So. Hmm. All right, then, Gene. Here's a story. Oops. Okay. Here's a story from uh, the Phillies. Oh, I did. That must be crazy. I'm not a big Gabe Kaplan. I don't know enough about whatever. Gabe Kaplan, there. former Brewer pitcher, um, Carlos Santana, who was uh, playing for the Phillies last year, but now he's with the Cleveland Indians again. Uh, we're hearing it t- uh, today. That last year, he got so upset at his Phillies teammates who dropped nine games in a row at one point at the end of the last season, faded, mm. were playing Fortnite, wow. the video game, uh, during games in the clubhouse. Mm. And he got so upset that he actually put a bat through a television. That's amazing. Did you know this was going on? Uh, well, Gene, you remember uh, the Boston Red Sox yes, a couple of years ago? They were drinking beer bad. and fried yeah. chicken. Yeah, that was bad. I mean, that was kind of Theo's downfall right there at the end there. Yeah. Uh, were they using Geo's Xbox, uh, Theo's Xbox in this I example? Know. I don't know. I don't know. 
Gene, they can't, they can't all be winners. I'm starting to lose steam here, Gene. Uh, oh, okay. All these jokes are not that great. Okay, but Gene. No, but the, oh. <laughs> but the Gene, uh, while Philly's pitcher Jake Arrieta, former hey, Cub. go for uh, quantity, not quality. Told oh, Jake. Yeah. Told uh, Jeff Pazan, who was reporting this, that the Fortnite playing and his understanding only happened once or twice. Right. So mm-hmm. Jake Arrieta uh, trying to I, save uh, okay, Gabe Kaplan's he, ass. Yeah, the Phillies. Well, we'll see. But I know Jake. Jake wants to be in Chicago, and they, I want him in Chicago, <laughs> but he's not. So I want to see Jake Arrieta choke out Bryce Harper this year. Can we do oh, that? Oh, that could happen. The uh, the know, yeah. who was the uh, most douche Vegas uh, mm. beard? Yeah. Let's see him go at it. Yep. Could happen. Yep. Could happen if they if they fall apart, which they ha- I I would not be. So- well, we'll see. I don't know. Who am I to say? Yep. Well, that's uh, NL East team, so that's okay. uh, beyond our expertise. So. Uh, but yeah, J- uh, Jake Arrieta, team player, team mm. player. He's Great Cub. Gonna... Cubs couldn't have won. He, oh my gosh, you're so good for the Cubs. <laughs> Thank you, Jake. <laughs> Love you. Thank All you. right. All right, and the Gene, uh, that's it. That's yeah. the show. Very uh, exciting times week. coming up. My sister Dawn's birthday next week, and then my mom's birthday the week after, and then yeah, so road trip going to. Uh, so well, you're I'll not, not going to be here next week. You will no, be here next week. Monday. And All then right. I'm leaving Tuesday morning, like four in the morning, I think. I gotta travel- drive to Phoenix. I gotta oh, yeah. drive to Mesa. Same thing as Phoenix. All right. Well, yeah. just don't take any illegal drugs. I will uh, not with you because they will search your car. Yes. No questions asked. Although my reputation uh, is a little uh, more upright, up, up, good. upstanding, upstanding than yeah, yeah yours with the dogs. Perhaps. Uh, well, you just show them the show. Just oh, and then I get to drive through New Mexico. If they stop you, I haven't you, done it in a long time. If they stop you, just pull up your uh, phone with your Facebook. We like, oh, yo, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, oh, right, I'm, right. I'm a talk show, I'm yeah. a talk show host. I don't hey, need drugs. There you go. It was great coming to you from Indiana. So, yep. wow. Yeah, from the beautiful Hoosiers. Thanks, uh, thanks, thanks for bringing us here. Yeah, th- we we want to thank uh, you know, the, what the co- high school for letting us in yes, the uh, yeah. Auditorium. We just had to move some stuff around. Wow. Uh, we may have chipped up the uh, hardwood floor a little bit with the equipment, but right. uh, it's all good. All good. Uh, the, the 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 taxpayers of Indiana's got this uh, on us. So yeah. All right, Gene. Anything else? No. Love everyone. Thank you. All right. So uh, that's it. Oh, do your taxes. I already did my taxes. Yep. It's uh, coming pretty quick. I overpaid again. <laughs> Well, it's better than uh, underpaying. Yeah, I, I know. suppose so. I know. All right, so for Gene uh, Steichen, Hello. Uh, oh, goodbye. my name is uh, Chris Stott, and this has been uh, the Midwest Sports Show. We will see you guys next week. Have a great week.